So welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Angus Levy. I am the host of the Mindset Hour. And just before we, we, we uh, introduce our guest today, Ruben Torres, uh, I'm just going to explain a little bit about who I am and what's going to happen in, in the next uh, hour or so. Uh, I'm uh, Angus Levy, as I said already, and I am one of the, the leaders within uh, the Epic and Winner's Circle organization. And uh, I'm also a hypnotherapist. Now, what that does is it gives me quite a unique insight into the way the mind operates and how we as people operate. And uh, I work with all sorts of different people um, uh, in my hypnotherapy practice. Uh, usually I specialize in, in um, people who, who suffer from trauma, but I do all sorts of other things too, um, uh, such as uh, phobias and that sort of thing, uh, anxiety, all of those sort of things. But what we do during this hour is usually I pick a topic or two and we talk on it. You know, recently we've been talking about success and what is required in your mindset to be successful. Now, uh, uh, a week ago, um, uh, Anan did an interview with Ruben and uh, uh, I absolutely loved that interview. And uh, Ruben and myself have talked before and we have a similar sort of way of thinking. Um, and uh, uh, I've always wanted to get Ruben on to the Mindset Hour for a chat. And Ruben has had some amazing success with his trading. And uh, a lot of people uh, have maybe not taken that plunge yet. Maybe you're still learning how to trade, uh, which is fine. Uh, that's no problem. Uh, and it's really important that you do and trade demo. Uh, but eventually, hopefully, you're going to start to trade live. And when you do, things are probably going to change in the way you think. All right. And these are the sort of things that Ruben and myself are going to be uh, talking about and how to, to get over that. And uh, Aaron, if you want to chip in at any time, in fact, anyone uh, who's on uh, the call, you're more than welcome to, to come on at any time and share your own experiences and your own thoughts and ask questions of myself and Ruben at any time. So Ruben, thank you for joining us, welcome. Thank you, from the USA. From the USA, <laughs> yeah. from Texas. On the other side of the pond, yeah, in Texas, where everything is bigger and better, they say. So yeah, yeah. It's nice and warm over there, I'd say, compared to uh, cool and wet over here. Yeah, this morning, I guess Celsius wise, it's probably in the high 20s, but it'll be probably in the high 30s by the end of the day, Celsius. Wow, we had minus two last night, so. Uh, That's cold. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, Ruben, maybe you'd like to just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background, where you've come from, um, so, so we get have a bit of a better idea about who you are. Absolutely. Well, my background comes from, um, I'm, an, I'm an international inspirational motivational speaker is what, what I do. Uh, my parents came to the United States uh, from Mexico. Uh, they were migrant workers. So when I was growing up, we were, uh, we were really, really, really poor because we didn't have anything. My parents were migrant workers. So for us, summertime was about, you know, we didn't go to summer camps. We didn't go to swimming pools, but we'd have to go to the work in the fields, you know? Yeah. And as a kid, I remember that I would, I would get up because I would say, man, I, I wasn't born for this. There's got to be something better. And I'd make these little crates, you know, I'd get these little crates that we'd put the vegetables in. And that was my little pulpit, my little podium. And every day I would speak my dream that one day I'm going to be in front of millions of people bringing a message of hope to the hopeless and I'd be the voice to the voiceless. How old were you and when then, you did I was not, I was nine years old. Nine. So I began to think, you know, because, and I, and I would speak to all the, all the workers and they'd look at me like, está loco, you know, he's crazy, you know. <laughs> But every day I would speak my dream, you know, I'd speak my dream, I'd speak my dream. And then one day, not only did I speak my dream, but I began to believe my dream, that this can become true. So I spoke my dream, I believed my dream, and then one day I became my dream, and I walked into my God-given purpose and destiny. And from that moment, I began to believe that, you know, uh, I also am an ordained minister, so I, I know that the Bible says that we have the power of death and life in our tongue. 
you know, that we can, in Deuteronomy, it says that we can, you know, bless ourselves or we can curse ourselves. Just like we can make life better or we can make life bitter. It's a choice. You know, our attitude today will determine our altitude tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So my background comes from uh, doing personal development and also as a speaker. That's what that's what pays me is being speaking and also life coaching. I have had no uh, experience whatsoever, none whatsoever in in the in the financial markets when it came to uh, trading. I had heard about forex trading. I, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it stood for, but I'd heard about foreign exchange or, or forex trading. But I had no idea what forex trading was, none whatsoever, until I was introduced to uh, this great company, Epic, back in September. Okay. And uh, that's when I began to study this this uh, industry. Okay, and and um, tell me, I mean, I'm I'm really interested in in um, the fact that you're a motivational speaker, and, and it was pretty obvious as soon as you you joined us back in September. Um, your your any time you were on um, posting on on the uh, Winner Circle group, uh, you always had something uplifting and, and wonderful to say, and that's when I knew I had to get to know you. Um, and, Thank you. Uh, yeah. So so. Um, uh, are you are you hired by what churches, corporations, that sort of thing? Right. Yes, sir. I've been doing this now for about twenty five years, so I've gotten a. Um, but I, I do get to minister in a lot of churches. But this year has been a, a huge challenge for me because if I don't speak, I don't eat. Um, so I, I I was used to getting on a plane, hopping on a plane, you know, going across the pond to the UK or or to Europe or even to Central America, South America, Mexico. But this year has been a little bit different to where they shut down the borders. So if I didn't speak, um, then I, I had to come to a realization that I had to do something quickly, you know? Yeah. But I, I, I do speak at, at universities, uh, conferences, uh, uh, MLM companies like those companies called uh, Organo Gold, Vicellus, companies like that that I would uh, speak at as well. Right. And- um, what sort of things would you be talking about? Is, is it uh, something that the, the, the company would ask you to speak on or did you have a particular type of topic you would always talk on? Right. Uh, since they were uh, contracting me, uh, they were paying me. So a lot of uh, the majority of the times they had already topics of what they wanted me to touch on. Absolutely. But most of the topics were uh, had to do a lot with personal development. Yeah, yeah. You know, because we have the greatest tool in, at our disposal, every person that's listening to this call has the greatest tool at their disposal, and that's their mindset, you know, their mind. And, you know, you you can do so many things, you know, Henry Ford said that whether you think you can or you can't, you're right, yeah. you know, and it goes back to our attitude today, you know, or am I going to be, am I going to, am I going to make myself better or am I going to be bitter? Am I going to, you know, am I going to, you know, jump up to the ranks, but it, it all comes to mindset and our belief system. We got to believe, you know, and we got to be our biggest cheerleaders. We got to root ourselves and cheer ourselves on every day, each and every day and throughout the day. We have to. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And, you know, uh, I don't know if, if um, how many people here have read the books like, you know, Think and Grow Rich and um, uh, and uh, the power of, of thinking big and all of these sort of books. And they all talk about this. And what I loved about what you just shared with us was, was speaking out your dream at the age of nine. I mean, that is just phenomenal. You, you intuitively knew to speak out what you wanted to achieve in your life. And that was to, you know, talk to, to you know, thousands of people all over the world. And, you know, I just wish that our young people uh, could know uh, and understand the power of being able to do that for themselves. And, uh, you know, turning negative talk into positive talk uh, and understanding the danger of negative talk. And even our teachers, uh, you know, the, the worst thing they can do our parents is tell a child, you're no good, or, you know, you'll never amount to anything. Um, because especially up to the age of seven, that's when when children's beliefs and value systems are developed. And if, if they're given given a belief, 
that they're no no good, then that sticks with them. Uh, am mm -hmm. I right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That theta theta thinking. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. That's what you you look at children. You know, I have lots of nephews and nieces. So and you see them and they'll, they'll be there by, you know, just to themselves, but they're like talking to someone. They have such an imagination. They're so creative. You know, they have such an imagination. Yeah. You know, if we, you know, the Bible talks about having faith, like, you know, childlike faith, you know, if you tell a child something, they're, they're going to believe you. Okay. You yeah. know, and we need to, you know, believe, you know, we didn't, we need to believe ourselves and tell ourselves that, Hey, we can accomplish, we can do good, we can do big things, we can do great things, you know, because throughout the day, we, we think so many, we have thousands of thoughts that we think, and I would, and I, and I asked you, and I posed a question to our audience this morning, you know, the majority of the thoughts that you're thinking today, even this morning, have the majority of them been positive? Have they been positive about you? Have they been positive about you getting closer to your dreams? Or have they been negative and thinking that you can't do it? And, and, and that's, that's, that's so important, just to take the time to sit back and, and uh, almost, in a way, take stock of how, what is your self-talk? How are you talking to yourself? Are you being mm. kind to yourself? Are you being nice to yourself? And if not, change it. Um, get rid of the can't in your in your 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 language um and and also any uh, negativity i'll never be any good get rid of that get rid of the never i will be right. good <laughs> you know yeah and 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 i i want to just um start to bring that on maybe to to um to to, to trading because a, a lot of people struggle um with trading because it involves loss and <laughs> loss. I mean, we are psychologically um, uh, wired um, to avoid pain. Yeah. And for modern man, loss of money equals pain. Um, yeah. uh, and that's why it's, it's, it's important uh, for uh, people to trade, to change that mindset of, understanding that you know loss of money is not um a uh, pain if it is temporary and i was i was sharing with them um, with tony there earlier uh my own results um uh, and i trade uh, a different type of forex binary options with my group and uh, today i hit our target of a hundred thousand in nine and a half weeks from three thousand so Wow. But I was able to show her that um, in the interim period, I had loads of losses. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. Some days I was down. I, in fact, some sessions I, I took uh, losses of, of up to two thirds of my account, um, which uh, for most Forex traders would, would be absolute panic. But with the way I trade, I, I got it back within a day or two. Um, uh, but it, and it comes back to this uh, 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 analogy I was giving earlier before we started about about the the uh, snakes and ladders game. People probably in the UK and, and Europe um, would know this game. So far, I haven't met anyone in the States who does. But basically, it's a board game for children between you've got squares between uh, zero and, and 100. And the idea is uh, you throw a dice and you move your 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 uh, counter on uh, and uh, you you move up if you hit a ladder you move up you might move up three levels or four levels and if you hit a snake you might move down um, and it's all a game of luck but the, the interesting thing about snakes and ladders is everyone eventually gets to the end it may take them a lot longer than the people who who, who won but you eventually get there and it's the same with trading is it not absolutely uh, tell us a little bit about your experience with trading now you, you you are brand new you only started in september with no knowledge as you said so absolutely what, what, exactly what, what did you no do knowledge. first uh, when, I, when i first started i mean um you know the the what i what i began to do was i began to devour 
you know, uh, the, the, the study halls with Coach Max, those were phenomenal. And I began to devour the syllabus, not only once, twice, but go through it three, four, five times, you know, and just go over it. You know, I would stay up till two, three, four in the morning where it was really quiet. And I would just listen to the, to the study halls. I would get on these live sessions. I know, you know I, a lot of times I had no idea what they were talking about. <laughs> you know, like but I would language, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And I began just to study over and I began to read the candlestick Bible. I began to read the, 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 the trading, just the philosophy, you know, I began to be get uh, even, uh, I took an inventory of my, I, I checked myself as far as my, my inventory on, on my mindset, because one thing that I've learned and, and I learned through, through Epic and, and through reading is that two very important things in my life that, I, that I've come to realize in trading in my life personally was risk management and psychology or mindset. Those things, I began to learn to become more comfortable with being uncomfortable. Right. And uh, you touched on something that, that uh, like yesterday morning by, by coffee time, I had already lost $1,200, you know, wow. in trades, you know, $1,200. And, uh, and to me, I was like, well, okay, no big deal, because I already knew. I knew that 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 beyond the shadow of a doubt, I was going to get that money back. I didn't so, hold on to the grudge. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's the thing that, that, that people have to, to develop, that, that uh, belief and understanding that, uh, yes, you, you do take losses. There are times that we take losses, <laughs> including the Absolutely. great Dominique, who today uh, could not get it right. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, mm. and, and that happens. Absolutely. Uh, and, and he did exactly the right thing. He stopped. Uh, yep. He hasn't come back now. He might come back later. But when you take a couple of losses, two or three in, in a row, stop. Absolutely. And, and walk away. And yes. then when you come back, come back with a fresh mind. Um, one that is, is starting as if this is your first day again. What happened uh, earlier on is gone. It's happened. It, it cannot be fixed. It cannot be changed. We can never <laughs> change the past. We can only no. look towards changing the future. Is that not right? Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I think one thing a lot of people, because they, um, you, you mentioned earlier, you know, about we, we don't like, um, as human beings, our psyche, we don't like rejection, you know, because when you lose, that's, that's a form of rejection, you know, yeah. and we, and we don't like loss, we don't like to lose, you know, and you mentioned earlier about, you know, as a child up to the age of seven, that theta thinking, you know, that, you, you can you can instill you know I like to say I like to uh, you know instill hope I like to influence I like to uh, just instill hope in people's lives it, it's a mindset but if you if you if, as from children from a childhood if we had this mindset that we're you know we're, we were always being rejected we weren't loved we weren't positively stroked you know uh, we were always told that you can't do this or you can't do that you know or oh, you, you, that's that's too big for you. That's too big of a dream for you. That that's impossible. That'll never happen. And the word impossible itself says I'm possible. You yeah. know, yeah. we are possible, but we have to begin the. You know, you 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 also said earlier, which I really loved, was that we need to be kind to ourselves. You know, I always um, I I look in the mirror, and and when I smile, it's like as these endorphins began just to just to pour out of my out of my every fiber of my being. You know, I smile in the mirror. And the person I, I, smiling back at me, it makes me feel good inside. Even when you smile at someone, you see someone, a stranger, and they smile at you and they nod their head like, hello. Well, you'll smile back because it's contagious, you know. And, and But, you know, we need to be kind to ourselves. We need to love ourselves. We need to think highly of ourselves that we need, you know, because a lot of people will tell us, oh, you're good at this or you're good at that. But if we don't believe that, that's, those are just, that's just hearsay. Those are just words. We need to, we need to focus on us being kind to ourselves being loving to ourselves absolutely and that's where the positive affirmations that coach max uh, gives us is so important <laughs> yes yes yeah yes because, you, you know, know without those you can easily slip into that negative mindset and um, i oh, just yeah. had a chance yet to to read um the book about trading in the zone have you had a chance yeah. to read that one yes 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 uh, i think that's wow. a book. Powerful. That's a book that everybody um, yes. who wants to trade should 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 read as well. Yes, um, I would read that book before the Candlestick Bible because that that 
focuses a lot on, on the shift, the paradigm shifts of, of your thinking, yeah. you know, yeah. because something happens, you know, when you think you're going to lose, because a lot of people, like you said, they're hesitant because they already have in their mind that oh, I'm going to, I, I can't afford to lose this money. Well, if you can't afford to lose that money, you shouldn't really be even trading or thinking about trading that money in the first place, you know. But it's, we got to break away from that that loss or scarcity mentality. Yeah. And you know? one of the things I say to people, um, you know, never trade out of a place of, of um, desperation or need. Right. Um, because you're, you're immediately coming in with the wrong mindset. Yeah. You know. And, and I, I don't know how it works in, in the universe, you know, but, but that thinking, you know, it's just that, that thought, you know, it, just think happy thoughts, you know, think, I mean, I know we, life happens, right? Look, I mean, we've, since March, look what's been going on around the world, you know, to me, this has been the most challenging year of my life, but, but honestly, Angus, this year has made me grow more than ever before in the course of my life. You know, I had to really take grips of who I am and why I'm here, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, this, the, but here, you know, the, the mindset, it's very, very important. It's, it's funny, you just sparked a thought in my mind. And it's something I've been talking about before, but, but uh, one of the, probably the most powerful things to, to um, do and, and probably start your day with as well is, is gratitude. Oh yeah. Um, coming from a place of gratitude, you cannot have a bad attitude. Mm-hmm. And, and um, with, with my, my uh, clients, I work with um, uh, a lot of uh, my clients are stage four uh, cancer patients as well. Mm-hmm. And thankfully yeah. all are still alive. Um, yeah. But, but um, one of the first things I do is, is, is get them to start to meditate on, on being grateful for what they do have and what they have had. And being grateful for the, the the nurses and doctors who look after them, and you know an amazing thing happens when they start to do that, that their whole mindset about where they are in life changes, from a place of of being you know why does this happen to me, you know and anger, to a place yeah. of just being grateful. For, for being alive and for what they've had and for what they can give. And I coach them to, um, to actually give to the people who are looking after them through genuine gratitude, making mm. them feel good. And I say, you know what's going to happen when you do that? These people are going to make you in turn feel so special and treat mm. you in a far different way than they will the person two doors down who is as grouchy and and you know angry with the world <laughs> and and yeah. it makes it makes life um uh, so so different and it, an amazing thing starts to happen when people change their mindset that they're um they're they're uh, now there's other work involved as well but but the cancer does actually start to recede yeah, because cancer yeah. is is a is a symptom of of um, unresolved um, trauma of some sort. But anyway, we're digressing. Um, but it's the same with 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 trading, where where uh, it, it's so important to start your day. And Aaron, uh, he's he's left for for another meeting. But um, when he comes back, I'm sure he will agree and, and confirm this that that you start with uh, uh, the right mindset. If you are not in a positive place, go away and sort your mind out and come back when you are Absolutely. in that positive mindset. Um, right. In a place where yeah. you can um, uh, trade positively. So let, let, we, we, you, you talked about devouring all of this information. When, um, how, how long was it before you, you actually um, got the, the, the guts up to uh, set up your first um, your, your, your yeah. first uh, broker account and, and set up a demo account right you know before I go into that you know you had touched on something very important you know uh, it's been said that I believe we have over 37 trillion cells in our body and each cell is listening to our thoughts absolutely you know and, and there's a there's a there's a saying that says that each and every day I'm getting better and better in every way you know, each and every day, 
I'm getting better and better in every way. They would, you know, they actually did a study with cancer patients on an oncology uh, floor in, in MD Anderson in Houston, Texas, which is one of the most world world known uh, cancer centers in, in the world. And um, it, it does, it's like, it, it, something happens, you know, with that shift and that mindset, you know? And uh, I had mentioned earlier, we need to become comfortable with becoming uncomfortable. Yeah. But I, I devoured all these, all, all this. And even to this day, I go back and I read them, even the syllabuses. And I love going back to the, to the study halls, you know, because I will always be a student. I think each and every one of us that's listening to this call has to always be a student. Never come to the point to where you think you know it all, because that's when you'll fail. You know, like you talked about attitude, our attitude today determines our altitude tomorrow. Yeah. So what happened, I started off with a demo account, you know, which is, I mean, every person, every newbie must, you know, must, must, must begin with a demo account. Absolutely. I started with, you know, I started with a demo account, you know, and I started going over it and over it and over it and over it again, you know, and I began to see like, it was crazy because in at night when I would go to sleep, I could actually see these charts. You know, I could see the the market. You know, the structure, the resistance, and the support. You know, that the constant. You know, the 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 uh, just the different. You know, the candlesticks. And I was like, oh my goodness. You know, and I could see. Okay, I could see the market trend because our the trend is our friend, right? Yes. And I was like, oh wow. You know, this. You know, support. Okay, there's a retracement. There's a retractment. I never. I didn't even know what these words. To me, that was Mandarin. You know, but then I as 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 I began, it became it began to go into my subconscious. You know. So whenever they, these uh, great educators, uh, Jeffrey and Dom, and they would, they would, Elise, they would, they would give out these, these signals. And then I would think to myself, okay, I would look at the chart. Okay, why did they make this move? Why are they, why are they telling us to take this trade? I wouldn't just blindly do it, you know? And, oh, okay, I'll do it. But I began to study like, okay, why did they make this choice? Why, what was going on? You know, why is it, why, I would analyze what they said, you know, just so that I could know why they said, why they said, you know? Now yeah. I didn't doubt them, but I just wanted to learn on my own. You know, so I would take the trade and I did that for about uh, two, two, three weeks every day, every day, over and over and over again, you know. And then finally I said, you know what, you know, this, this works, you know. So I said, I'm just going to, I got a, I got a broker <laughs> and I, and I, and I, and I uh, fill uh, my account with uh, $200, $250, you know. So I started, you know, taking some wins, you know, I was like, oh, wow, you know, I, I, my first win, I think was like $2 and like 23 cents. And I was like, oh my goodness, man. I, I thought I had just won the Texas lottery. <laughs> you know, because yeah, yeah. yeah I had won, I had won money. Like, oh my goodness, man, this stuff works, you know? And then I won a dollar 12, a dollar 86. Like, oh man, I was, I was like, man, I'd won maybe like five bucks, right? And I thought, I, I thought that I, I, I had arrived, you know, this is it, man. I was looking for my Lambo. You know, <laughs> you know, so then I began to say like, wow, you know, and, uh, and like I, we mentioned earlier, I, I, I had no idea. I, I had never, ever, ever, ever traded ever in my life. I didn't know what it was. I had heard about it, but I had never done it myself, you know? So then when it started happening, I was like, wow. So about three weeks after doing some uh, demo accounts, uh, quite a bit of it though, you know, I would do it every day, you know, day in and day out and hours sometimes. So that's, that's, that's uh, about three, three, you know, and I did start with a small account of about $200. And, and, um, and were you trading trades you were spotting yourself or were you just following what was being given in the, in the, um, in the signals group? Oh yeah, no, I, I, I didn't do no trades. Uh, I didn't do my own analysis, none, none whatsoever. Everything that I did, I would copy and paste, copy okay. and paste copy and paste everything that was given by our educators i would do exactly to the t what they they told me to do from the from the entry point the stop loss the tps everything was exactly as they laid it out to me okay and, and what happened uh i began to win you know so uh you know i mentioned earlier i said well this works right so i started so then i, I uh, put more money into my account i know a lot of people can't do it so always 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 only trade what you think or believe you can afford to lose don't ever 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 uh take food from your table ever yeah. you know I, I i i've been able i've been blessed to be able to put you know to me i was able to put you know then from i went from 200 and i was able to supplement that into my account to another $1,500, you know, so now my account had grown. And therefore, since my account grew, 
my lot size obviously got bigger. So I started taking, I believe it was uh, one educator, I don't know if it was Jeffrey, but I did some, um, and another thing, um, I, I advise uh, new traders, do not take indices. Do not take indices because like I mentioned earlier, I lost $1,200 in a matter of a couple of minutes. It was a US 30. Yep. You know, my, my lot size was, I think it was $3. So, so it didn't take long for me to, to lose it, you know? <laughs> yep. So in a matter of minute, a couple of minutes, you know, $1,200 gone, you know? But to me, I, I didn't hold on to that loss. I just, I just, you know, shook it off yep. because I know that my next one is going to be a win. That's, an, that's another thing. Your next one is going to be a win. Always have the mindset, okay, I lost, but you got you to gotta just get rid of that loss, that, that loss. Because a lot of people, they begin to, uh, and this is, I think this is one of the seven sins, you know, is uh, revenge trading, you know, okay, I lost. I got, I got to get back. And you talked about it earlier about that desperation, that need. No, don't do that because you're going to lose again. You're going to lose again. You're going to lose again. Once you lose, step away, walk off, clear your mind. Yeah. And what they do is they, they, they double up. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then you're a double loss, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Uh, so, so, but it, so the important yeah. thing is, is, is to, um, is to uh, actually, as, as we've already mentioned, you know, when you take, let's say you take two losses, walk away. Uh, and when you yes. come back, start again. And the other thing I think which is useful, uh, and it's what I do, I never think about, oh, you know, I lost uh, so mon much money today. <laughs> no, I, no. Always, I always think in percentages. Right. Um, so instead of saying, uh, you know, I mean, the other day, uh, I'm just going to quickly look at my uh, my chart. The other day, what did I lose? I lost uh, 25,000 in uh, 20 minutes. Okay, Actually, <laughs> you know, I lost I lost 30,000. Pardon me, it was 25,000 for the day, down 38 percent, uh, 30,000. Now I could have walked out of there going, oh, I lost 30,000. I can't, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But no, I I I said um, I was down. And um, uh, thirty-eight percent. But you know what? The other thing I I, I always kept in mind was the previous week I was up uh, ninety-eight percent or ninety-four percent. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and uh, how long did it take me to get back that? Uh, actually, the very next session, I recovered what I'd lost. Awesome. Um, That's and, beautiful. And that was because it was all a new day. So, folks, those of you who are listening to this never allow a loss to affect you mentally. All it is, is a correction. Uh, and one of the things I always like to, to show people is when you look at a chart, it's not a straight line, up or down. It is, uh, it, it goes up and it goes down a little bit, it goes up, it goes down a little bit, it goes up, it goes down a little bit. And uh, it, it's never a straight line. So. Uh, you have to be prepared for the times when it comes down, as well as the time it goes above that median line, because it's going to happen. Sometimes yeah. you're going to get it wrong, and it's going to be below. Isn't that right? Yeah. But the thing is, more often than not, if you're following the trend, it's going to end up going back up above again. You just have to be aware and cognizant uh, of that fact. So, um, again, you, you started with your small account, and you you. you added a bit of money into it and then what happened then i was able to you know and, and i vouched that you go when you had heard my um my uh interview with anon you know you, the, you didn't ask me anything about the the how much money i'd won you asked me the percentage you wanted to know the percentage exactly you know because that goes back to percentage you know yeah. so i was able to uh, move away from the 0 0.0102, right? To where I was able to go now into 0 0.10, 0 0.30, 0 0.50, you uh -huh. know? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the lot size got bigger. Therefore, my gains got bigger. I mean, granted, the losses that I lose, yeah, I lost, you know, several, you know, I, I lost lots of lot, you know, lot, I took a lot of trades, you know, but uh, I, I lost a lot, you know, but that one day, I, I um, it was just at the right place at the right time with the right mindset. You know, I think I made like $4,800 like in, in just one session, you know, 
And that uh, that was just in one session. And in, in like in about a little over a week, I think I had amassed over sixty four hundred dollars. You know, right. and and it was all from no, none of that. None of that was my own analysis. Not one trade that I took was my analysis. I want your audience to know that not one of them was my analysis. Everything that I did came from copying and pasting, copying and pasting. Everything that the educators would put out in the signals for a signals chat telegram group, mm -hmm. I would take. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they talk about, you know, catching 19,000 pips in a week, 25,000 pips in a week. Yeah, those guys are good. You know, so you guys, you know, do your due diligence, you know, sacrifice if you have to, you know, lose some sleep, you know, because you're building your, it's, it's your dream, you know, it's your why, it's your why, it's your, you know, what do you want to do? You know, a lot of people are working in corporate America or corporate yeah. in the world, I'm sorry, I'm in America, but we say corporate That's America. Right. <laughs> they want to break away from, from that, you know, because they have dreams, they have ambitions, they have, they have aspirations, they have goals that they want to attain, you know, yeah. and, and that trading dollars for hours isn't going to work, you know. But in front of us at our labs, we have, you know, a great way to make residual income through building a, a beautiful, awesome, large team. And, and a lot of people don't want to build teams. But there again, we also have Forex trading, you know, become, you know, hone in on this skill. It's a skill set that you can take with you for the rest of your life, you know, become proficient in it, become a success in it, you know, just study, 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 do your due diligence and study. And, you know, that's what I did. You know, that's what I keep on doing. I still do it, you know. I'm up at, you know, for the London sessions every day, you know, every morning at two in the morning here in, in, in Texas, you know, 2 a.m. It's because I want to learn more. And, um, and plus, I also catch some really good uh, tips. <laughs> it's uh, to be a little selfish there, but yeah. I think we're going to get a lot of people moving over to, to Europe <laughs> so they can get their yeah. sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. It's, it, it's crazy. And, and the, other, the other great yeah. thing about, about, about trading is, you can take it wherever you are. You, I mean, you just trade from your phone, isn't that correct? You don't, you don't, you don't use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just have my phone. I just use my phone. You know, I, I my my laptop got stolen about a, a month ago. You know, yeah. so everything that I've done, er, everything, my my all the things that I've done, uh, the the study halls, uh, the the live sessions, the trading, it's all been done on my iPhone, my MetaTrader, my my you know trading view. Everything is here. And everything that I've done is just on my, this is my, my office, just my, my phone on my, on my, on my, on my hand. That's all I've been using. Nothing else. No, no desktop, no laptop, just my phone. Wow. And, you know, I can be out and about and uh, I just pull out my phone. I look at uh, if any signals have come, you know, and uh, I go from there. And the, and the wonderful thing is, you know, uh, I, during our, uh, our, our pre-launch, I actually burnt myself out. I was just exhausted. And I actually went away for two weeks uh, ho on holidays to Turkey. This is before the, uh, I knew that, that, you know, there would be another lockdown approaching. So I, I w went out before it. And I get up early in the morning, go swimming, have a lazy breakfast um, and, and do my trading or my, my one-on-ones, uh, three-way calls, whatever, um, in, in the afternoon when it was too hot to be out. And then go swimming again in the in the afternoon. But you know what? A funny thing happened. I actually made more money while I was on holidays than when mm. I when I wasn't. Mm. Um, and uh, what, what what we have here uh, with with uh, Epic and and the resources we have is the ability to live wherever we wish as long as we have uh, an internet signal. We no right. longer have to work for the man. You know, we no. don't <laughs> work for corporate America or, or, or whoever. We mm. can be our own bosses. And, yes. you know, you don't have to build a team. You're absolutely right. But isn't it important that we should share the good fortune that we have to, to be able to learn uh, how to trade? I mean, 75% of people lose when they trade Forex. That is a fact. Right. <laughs> That is an actual mm. fact. Every broker has to actually state that, how many people lose trading with them. And it's, it, it averages around 74, 75 percent. And, mm. um, and the reason is quite simple, because they haven't taken the time to learn. 
And right. what we have here with, with, with Epic and, the, and Coach Max and her team and the university is, is, is the ability to learn in the correct way from professionals, people who know right. what they're doing. And as you said, we don't even have to know exactly what we're doing before we start making money. We can uh, copy and paste and, and yes. uh, you know, uh, follow on the coattails of, of uh, the professionals. But yeah. what do you, so, so what would you say is the most important thing for somebody who wants to get going um, as far as trading is concerned? Uh, to me, the most important thing to me was I, uh, I dug deep, my feet deep on the ground and said, you know what, enough is enough. You know, this is it. I have to do it for myself. You know, they, they need to have, they need to take, uh, they just need to take inventory of themselves and say, no matter what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to study. I'm, I'm going to study. I'm going to study. I'm going to research. I'm going to do all my due diligence and just study. And it, it, it's going to take sacrifice. It's going to take sacrifice. It's going to take time sometimes, maybe a wave but you're doing this for your family. You know, you're doing it for your loved ones. You're doing it for, for your dream and your goals. You know, just just uh, work on your mindset. That mindset is very, very important. Work on your personal development, but but just just know that you know that without the shadow of doubt, no matter what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna study the, the, you know, the psychology of trading. I'm gonna study the study halls. I'm gonna study the, the I'm gonna show up to the live sessions. You know, 80%, 90% is just showing up. You're already gonna be a success, you know? Yeah. And just show up, show up and, and, and do your diligence and study and, you know, over and over. Like I said earlier, you know, I would, I would be asleep and I could see like these, like the market trend, you know, I could see that. I could even see that, you know, the MA50, you know, I could see the lines, you know, so it was crazy, you know, because I would, I was seeing it so much, you know, it became a part of me, you know, they talk about becoming a signal, you become a signal. And I, and lo and behold, man, that, that is such a true statement, you know, because become a signal not only will you be, you know, start off taking signals from, from these professional educators, but eventually you want to become your own signal, you know, mm -hmm. but just, just study, you know, any, anybody, everybody here, it's a level playing field. I had no, nothing else, nothing more than anybody else that's here. Everyone that's listening to this call, you all have the same capacity that everybody has, you know, just, just study, do, just do your due diligence, you know, research, study, go over and over it again, over again, you know, study halls, go over the study halls over and over again, go over the syllabus, not only once, you know, a syllabus is in the back office, it's not going anywhere, just go over it, go over it again, you know, go over it again, yep. you know, things that you need, you need to, to work on, you know, go over it over and over again. So, yeah, that's, that's what I think, I think you're working on your mindset. And definitely, definitely working on 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 Coach Max's study halls and 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 the, everything. The Epic University is a gold mine. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It, it it absolutely is a. Uh, I mean, one thing I be I, I tell people who when I do the opportunity calls is you know, they, I, and it it bothers me that people do not realize the value of what they're getting with with what we have here in Epic. Um, you know, we pay ninety nine ninety nine a month for what I used to pay literally <laughs> yeah. thousands a month for. And I, no exaggeration, oh. uh, I, yeah. I was spending two, 3,000 a month uh, to get the education we get for 99.99. And if yeah. you introduce three, it's 25, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I, 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 and if they introduce three, then they're paying you to, to be a member. So yeah. uh, we really have something special uh, here. And absolutely, and I think it's almost. Um, I, I feel like a, a a missionary in a way. You know, it's almost our duty to reach out to people, especially in these times. Yes. Uh, people who are who are worried about their future, their their jobs. You know, um, Tony was just sharing with me there. I hope you don't mind me sharing, Tony. That you know, she works in the catering industry. Um, you know, and and they've had to close down uh, where mm. she is because of of COVID coming back. Uh, where I am in Ireland, um, we, we, we've been closed down for coming up on two weeks now, and we have another wow. four weeks to go. Um, wow. Fortunately, thank goodness, um, you know, our, our rates have, have uh, at least halved, and in some days they're down two thirds from, from where we were um, to, uh, just over two weeks ago. So it, it works, but the downside is people are, are scared, they're worried about their future, you know, mm -hmm. how long is this going to last? Will they have, have jobs to go back to? All of this sort of thing. And 
and uh, we have uh, such a wonderful gift and I really mean that, a gift to give to people uh, mm. and that is the ability to um, uh, become uh, financially free and, or self-sufficient at the very least where they can where they can uh, earn their own money. Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, so so uh, tell me a bit, uh, you know, uh, I'd like to talk a, a little bit about mindset as far as approach to people is concerned. And um, a lot of people get really anxious about talking to anyone, uh, especially once they've had one or two knockbacks, which usually happens from families and those we, closest to us. Oh, you've not got involved right. in another pyramid scheme thing, <laughs> have you? you know. um, yeah. Have you any advice for people uh, about how to approach others? Or be, yeah, uh, you know, one over, thing I learned, or overcome, uh, overcome those people, you know, who, who come at you with negative attitudes, trying to bring you back down. Right. You know, every time what happens, because I, I read, I learned something from, from President Trump's, his books, you know, he's a phenomenal businessman, you know, and it talked about, you know, you look at the lives of all these successful people, Michael Jordan, one of the greatest NBA professional basketball players that ever lived, right? And uh, he said, you know, that he missed thousands and thousands of shots. You know, he, he lost, I think, over 30 games. He won six uh, world championships, but he went on to say how many times he, he missed the winning shot, you know. Uh, are you going to have losses? Are people going to reject you? Absolutely, you know. But I learned that what people say about me doesn't define who I am. It'll define who I am if I let it define who I am. But it defines they it, it defines where they're coming from, yes. where they're at. You know, it defines their immaturity. It defines their insecurity. Yeah, what it you is? Know? It's their problem, not yours. Exactly. Yeah, that that's right. It's their problem, and 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 also because what happens when you go to speak someone, uh, there's a word that we use is called transference. They can smell you, and I'm not talking about like a like an aroma, like a cologne or perfume, but they can sense or smell like the fear or the hesitancy that you don't believe in yourself. You're gonna try to sell me something. You're not even a product of the product. You're gonna try to sell me something, and you don't even believe it in yourself. So why should I believe in it? You know. Mm -hmm. So that goes on to say that you know, think, believe in what you have to offer. Believe that you have the best thing since sliced bread. You know, and believe that. You know, and and does it happen overnight? That belief? Nope. It's something that you have to work in day in day out throughout the day. Even myself throughout the day, I have to talk to myself. You know, I look at myself and in, in the mirror and I and I talk to myself, saying, you know. If something said, you know, and I and I analyze, you know, okay, I, that didn't go well, or that person said this, why did they say that? You know, was it my approach, because, or was it my delivery? I think another thing is our deliver the way we deliver something to someone, the way we say it. You know, are we, you know, looking down at someone, or you know, we're there to help them because they can sense if you just want them as a recruit, as a number, to make money for you, or do you actually really want to help them? Yes. achieve their goals because it's about their dreams and their goals find their pain points in fact you know uh, one of the important things uh, as you say people will, will, will see if you're just after them for as a number or if you're after them genuinely wanting to help and if you go with the mindset of wanting to seriously help this person with a heart full of love they will they will feel that and they will have no hesitancy in, in, in joining you yeah yeah, Listen, we're absolutely. coming up to the last five minutes, and I, I would like to give um, uh, those who are uh, listening in live the opportunity maybe to uh, make a comment or, or ask a question of you. Um, yes. So, guys, the, the mics are open. Feel free to, to unmute yourself if you wish. And um, if you have any questions or any comments you'd like to make, feel free to go ahead and do so. While you're doing that, I'm going to just scroll back up and see is anyone asking any questions? No, I just see messages. People. I, I saw one message you. about now I, I got the money to make uh, buy a laptop. I've been looking at laptops, so. Good man. Uh, and Nicole said it's in, in the states it's shoots and ladders instead of snakes and ladders. Uh, that game we were talking about. Right. So thank you for that, Nicole. Uh, and thank you for all your, your comments, Tony. Appreciate them. Okay. 
So, all right, guys, uh, nobody has anything they'd like to share or ask uh, myself or Ruben before we finish up? Because we're literally just coming up to, to the hour and I, I, I don't want to, to go over it. Okay, it looks like uh, everybody is just more than happy to, to, to listen in. Um, Ruben, yeah. uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, thank you. And, and uh, I'm sure you and I will have many more interesting discussions in the future. And hopefully, absolutely. Hopefully, God willing, when COVID is is as got under yeah. control, we can we can yeah. actually all meet in person somewhere uh, as ambassadors. Yeah. Um, yes. In, in five star resort. Uh, yes. Together. Absolutely. Looking forward to that. Um, Right. So, so thank you, uh, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Ruben, yes. for sharing with us. I really appreciate it. And remember, it's the same time every week, four o'clock uh, UK time uh, on uh, Thursday. That's uh, 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, and uh, hopefully each week um, uh, I'll have a new guest for us. Um, and if not, uh, I'll be talking about something equally uh, inspiring. So thank you, everyone. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you. And, uh, Thanks. Look forward to, to, to seeing you all again next week. Bye-bye. Thank you, Angus. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.